Good morning guys! So it's currently um, 6.30 in the morning. I'm just getting ready because I'm going to go to um, do a job. First, hot green tea because I'm really tired. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do someone's wedding makeup today, which is something that I've always wanted to do. Like before, I had Aiden, I like did wedding makeup here and there, but I didn't really fully allow myself to get into it because. I knew that I was, you know, going to be starting a family soon, so I never allowed myself to be as passionate about it as I am. And obviously, I had Aiden and, um, you know, I just concentrated on trying to be a good mum and always being there for Aiden, so kind of just brushed it to a side. But... I feel like now is the time that I should for myself and something that I really enjoy doing um, is get back into it. So today I'm going to do a wedding makeup. Yeah, I haven't been vlogging much um, recently. I just feel like I'm trying to enjoy my life at the same time as filming it but for me I think the whole aspect of YouTube in my eyes has changed um not as in like content wise but I just feel like the nature of YouTube has changed and yeah it's I just kind of wanted to take a step back and re-evaluate what I wanted to do with my channel. And as you can tell, I've been doing more vlogs because that's what I enjoy doing. And I think that's what's interesting to me because I personally watch more vlogs than anything nowadays. So... If I'm going to do like a makeup tutorial or a haul, then I'm probably going to include it into a vlog instead of just like a sit down kind of video because, I don't know, I just like to chill and just sit down and talk to you guys and not be like, hey, so this is what I bought, which I guess I still do because I still do um, hauls. But more in a just like this kind of way, just chilled, chatting, telling you guys what I bought instead of being like all, you know, professional and just sat there with lights and cameras and yeah. Um, I've gone back to using my Real Lasting Eyeliner. This is by Care Palettes. This is the 24 hour Tattoo eyeliner, one day one. This is my all time favourite eyeliner. And I think today I don't really have time to do much eye makeup, so I'm just going to do a thick winged eyeliner, which I know to a lot of people will be like, but that actually takes longer than doing eye makeup, which for me it doesn't. For me, do winged eyeliner literally takes me like 10 seconds on each eye. Yeah, so I think I'm going to be really late if I carry on chatting like this. So, yeah, that's what I'm basically doing today. And then when I come back, I'm going to film um, a little bit of a haul. I'm going to show you guys what I've been buying for the past two weeks because I've bought, like, six coats. Can you imagine? And they're all just sat on my floor in my bedroom because I'm waiting to just have some time to sit down and try them all on. Well, not sit down, stand up, basically. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm off to do wedding makeup today. So, if you guys want wedding makeup or if you know anyone that's getting married, hit me up.
<laughs> I am actually very early, so yeah, sorry, don't mind the hair. Just left the house and clipped it up, yeah. Who cares? <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm very early, so I'm gonna get a coffee at the service station. I think I have like an extra 40 minutes. Should have judged my time a little bit better, but oh well, I'll get coffee. Gosh, what's happening with my hair? Uh, yeah, so oh my god, it's so cold outside. <laughs> uh, gosh, it says it's in, on my car, it says it's five degrees, that is like freezing. Um, so yeah, let's just sort my hair out a little bit. <laughs> Um, I just went to prep to get some coffee and some breakfast and I got porridge and I'm trying to be really good because I've been eating really bad for the past two months I've just like ate anything and everything so I'm trying to like just get back on track and you know I'm going to Hong Kong in two weeks so it's like all I'm going to be doing is eating every single day in Hong Kong, especially with my family and Aiden as well. So I really want to get back on track for the next two weeks at least, so that um, I don't feel as bad in Hong Kong. So I got the muesli, <laughs> it was too early, I got a muesli um, pot, which I'll probably have later instead. Um, right now, I'm going to have my porridge. This porridge actually reminds me of when I used to work in um, Liverpool and I used to travel to Liverpool like at like something crazy at like 6am and I'm not sure if you guys have been following me for that long but um, I think I did vlog a few times actually um, I used to be at the train station at 6am and then I would get this porridge every single time and have it on the train and I haven't had it in so long and when I saw it I was just like oh I remember that porridge being really good so let's hope um, it's still really good I kind of have like a special way of making my porridge I like to put in an egg white um, it's just a way that I was taught how to make it and it actually tastes a lot better with an egg white and obviously it's, it's healthy as well but mm. I like that it's not too thick um, I think that um, every time I go to McDonald's and get their porridge it's like really thick it's like just like gunk so this one is a good one mmm still very nice mm. I like that it's got like large chunky oats by the way, before I go, I wanted to update you guys on Aiden's nursery because I know that you guys love Aiden and really care about him. Mm. Basically, he's been going to nursery for the past two weeks now. But each time, I stay with him. But each time, the amount of time increases that he stays at the nursery and then I decrease my time that I'm with him so that he can form a bond with um, his keeper, that's what they call her, um, Jen, she looks really lovely, he loves it, my voice, and he absolutely loves it there, <clears throat> honestly, as soon as we go into his like room, he just like runs off and he forgets who I am, he's like mummy who, but then as soon as I leave the room he starts warming his eyes out, but I've, hopefully it's just a matter of time. And once this like settling in period is over, I think he's gonna have an amazing time at nursery. I'm gonna keep my shoes on because all of these coats I would probably wear with like boots. I wouldn't wear them on its own. So first of all, I went to I did it, yeah. I went to H and M and then I got this puffer jacket and actually I've been looking for a puffer jacket for the longest time but um, they'll make me look really big but I found this one and it doesn't make me look too big and it's actually quite warm and 
the shape of it is quite nice. Can you see that it's just pretty flattering? Yeah, and this was, I think it was 35 or 40 pounds from H&M. But I'll put the links um, to all these coats and jackets down below in the information box um, so that you can check it out. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one because this is just a good kind of like running errands kind of coat and jacket just to keep me warm yeah I like this one and then last week when I was in well last weekend when I was in Lisbon I got this jacket from Stradivarius um, it's really cold over there so I had to buy a jacket because I only took my leather jacket but I've been wearing this one a lot like for the past week this has been like my go-to jacket it's like really warm and it has that teddy kind of style but it's not um, too full on and too big because of the length and it's a perfect length for me to be honest and I really like this kind of like collar and the pockets and the lapels I just think it's um, really flattering compared to a lot of the teddy coats that I've tried on which just swamp me but this one looks nice and it's like yeah, this one's flattering and the pockets are big as well so I can fit a lot in there. So I'm definitely keeping this one because I'm not taking it back to Lisbon. <laughs> uh, so that's two coats that I have for winter. This is from ASOS. Uh, oops. Uh, I had a quick look at it. I didn't try it on but I did have a quick look at it. And I already know that this one is going to be going back, I think, because when I took it out of the bag, it just looks huge. Look at that, compared to me. It's just like, mahusive. So we shall see. But I'm pretty positive and sure that I'm going to be sending this one back. I can just kind of tell by the size of it that it's big. Um, I'm trying to find like the perfect camel coloured coat and um, I saw one in All Saints but that wasn't the perfect fit, it, it still looked a bit too big and I'm pretty sure this one's going to look big as well, yep, as I imagined it's Mahusa. The style of it is actually really nice, I like the double breasted buttons down the bottom, I like the lapels. I like all of this kind of like detail but it's just I feel like I have a dressing gown on honestly it's just so this one shall be going back although I do like the style of it I went to Max and Spencer's and I bought this leopard print coat because I really like it um, and it was the last one I've been looking for a size 6 everywhere but I couldn't find one and then I was looking for a size 8 everywhere and there was only one left in stock and I got it so it's sold out online and in stores but I will try and see if it's come back in stock and put a link down below but it's one of those leopard jackets that doesn't look too much like it's not a garish leopard print it's kind of like a understated dark turned leopard print and I like these pockets as well I like how they're like a good metal colour normally they're like gold or silver and I don't really like that I think this kind of pocket colour complements the jacket but I'm not sure it's like is it too kind of like perhaps butcherish no idea but I do like it like I like the style and the cut and the fit and Max and Spencer's is like doing really good cuts right now so if you want like winter cuts definitely have a look um, in Max and Spencer's because they were not on my radar before like I would never imagine buying a coat in Max and Spencer's but when I went in to um, just have a blouse surprisingly they do really good coats and it's yeah it's I think I could do with a size 6 but because it's the only one left I I don't mind it I don't mind it being a little bit baggy because it means I can wear like thick jumpers underneath but like I'm not sure. Guys, let me know in the comments which coats I should keep and which ones I should send back. So this is coat number four. Oh, 
That means I've got seven coats. Um, I was lying. Um, and then I went to I went to Mango, and I bought two coats. And this one is pretty thin. I'm not sure if I'm going to be warm enough in this. Although I really like this, but it's really cold outside in London right now. It's like five degrees today. I'm um, just like. See, I like th I like this one. It does look really big. This is a size small. It does look really big, but I do like the color and the style of it. But I'm not sure whether See, I do like this one, but I'm not sure like the fit is it does it look too oversized? Does it I don't know, can I put the sleeves up a little bit? No, that doesn't work. Um, yeah, I really like, this is like the perfect winter coat that I want. It's just that it just, I don't know, I think it looks a bit too big for me. It's like I put on someone's coat. I also got this one as well from Mango. Uh, I liked the pattern of this. I don't have any coats that are like this pattern. So, again, this is like a oversized, oversized coat. I think everything is oversized this season, and I want a oversized coat, but it's just that these are a little bit too oversized, maybe. Maybe because I'm like only five foot three, so everything just like swamps. And then I think this one's actually okay. This one, even though it's oversized, the shoulders are not like big. So I think I can get away with this one. I think I can pull this one off. I think. It kind of goes nice with my booties as well. It's like very autumnal. This one is a maybe again. But Mango do have really good stuff right now. Mango have really set up their game and their stuff is really nice. I actually find more stuff in Mango than Sarah when Sarah was my like number one go to high street shop but I actually prefer Mango now. So from ASOS I got this box of stuff um, when they were doing an offer and I got one of these Baker Boy hats which I'm not sure if I can pull off. I do want to wear one, but I'm not sure if I can pull it off. What, how does that look? Like, should I keep this hat? I think this is one of the better ones that I've tried on. I've tried on so many and a lot of them just don't suit me, but I think this one might be the one. Like, this one doesn't look too bad. Not sure what what do you guys think? <laughs> um Eddie loves that hat. He he honestly just keeps putting it on. Um I also got a hat like this, but I think this one's going back because yesterday I was in Topshop and I tried on a lot of different colours. I just don't think this style suits me, like, I don't know, this, I don't think I can pull this style off, it's just a bit too, mm, nah, and last but not least, this is the jacket that I've got from ASOS, but I think I'm going to take this one back anyways, because I already have something similar like this in my wardrobe and I'm going to keep the black puffer jacket so I feel like I don't need two, two warm jackets. This is another like one that I thought I'd buy to run errands, you know like take Aiden to the nursery, go to the um, supermarket kind of jacket. Um, um, actually I kind of like it, it's kind of flattering and the shape and the length and the fit is nice. Uh, 
but I think I prefer the black puffer one more just because I already have something like this in my wardrobe so I think this one is going back as well I also bought these like black shiny leggings but I've completely changed my mind about this so I'm not even going to try them on because I tried a pair on um, yesterday I think when I was out and I was just like you know what I like shiny kind of like jeans like waxed jeans but they just don't suit me I also got this shirt which is from Stradivarius as well and it has like little like horse is that a horseshoe yeah like a horseshoe print but I think I'm going to send this back because it looks actually not not looks it feels really flimsy like I don't think I'm going to try it on because I don't like the quality of it and I also got this camel jumper which uh, looking at it now it looks quite big look at that that looks humongous I guess I could wear it oversized but yeah actually no I, I yeah I think I've seen I think I've seen camel jumpers that are nicer than this this is pretty basic large oversized camel jumper with a neck so I think I'm gonna send this one back as well because you know I've seen better ones in in the shops and I think I'll have to spend my money on that instead so yeah that was my little try on haul and now I need to tidy all of this <laughs> <laughs>